Okay, welcome back. We're going to do a, a tiny bit of a quick review. Okay, so I can do multiple sequences within a project. So if I want to do a new composition, I can go to new composition, and we're going to call this review text animation. Okay, and I'm again staying with 30 frames a second or drop frame 2997 at 1920 by 1080 with a black background with a 10 second uh, duration. Okay, um, let's say with this review, let's say I want to do 15 seconds because this is only a 10 second timeline. So to change your settings, we can always go to composition and go to composition settings. And hey, there it is. I'm going to go change that to oh, 15 seconds. I'm going to say OK. And notice this is still at 10, so I'd have to come down here and get the full 15 frames. So I'm going to do a quick text animation again. So I'm going to go faster this time. So I clicked on my text tool. I'm going to put my text in, and I'm going to say, moving text and I'm going to go to my align tool I'm going to center it vertically and I'm going to go to my properties and I can that that's kind of new I've not worked with these that we could do the keyframing in over here too um, I'm going to go with a different color this time. So I'm going to say, I'm going to do in a red mood tonight. So I'm going to say, okay, on the red. And I'm going to make the font, oh, uh, I'm going to go 100. I'm going to go a little smaller on that font. Okay, I'm going to go back to a line. I'm going to center it again. Looks like it stayed there. So again, quick review. I'm going to move this, open this right here. And I'm going to go to transform. And I'm going to position it in. So I'm going to start with this keyframe right here. And I'm going to do it a little backwards this time. So I got my first keyframe. I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm going to move it off the frame. So that point right there, at that point in time, that's where it is. So let's say over two seconds. I'm going to go to two seconds. If I, with this stopwatch turned on for keyframing, Anytime I change an attribute in position, it puts a new keyframe in. So that text just flew in. So if you scrub your bar, you can kind of see what it's doing. Or if you want to play it, hit your space bar and it plays. Okay. So then I want to do a rotation. So to do a rotation, um, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put a rotation keyframe on so I can rotate it. And I'm just going to punch a number instead of just click and drag this time. So I'm going to move it over. And okay, before I get too far, I, I didn't change my anchor point again. So I'm going to go grab my tool right here. I'm going to move my anchor point over. And that's where I want it. But notice it put this new one in. So I should have changed the anchor point before I start keyframing. But that's an easy fix. I'm going to delete this one, move this one back over, which that's kind of nice um, that I, you know, in, in the past it's really messed up everything. You can't do the easy fix like I just did. So now I'm going to go back to my rotation. And this time I know it's a 90 degree, so I'm going to go 90. And there it is. What if we wanted to take off like a rocket and go up? So if I go minus 90, it should move up. Okay, just so you can see that you can do minuses too. So I'm going to go 90 degrees, hit return, and it moves in, it rotates. Let's say we wanted to spin almost like a yo-yo type of thing. If I remember, I'm using these to go to keyframe to keyframe. 
let's say I wanted to do three spins on it before it lands there. So if I say three, remember, this is zero, this is three, so it's going to like rotate, like go whoop, 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 and land there. I don't want to do that, but I just wanted to, I'm going to move this over for timing just so you can see it. So it, it just starts rotating. Yeah, I don't want to do that, but I just wanted to show you that point. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to actually do an undo, undo, and now I'm back to where it just does the simple rotation. And again, this time instead of using this tool right here to match this keyframe and this keyframe, I'm going to select this one, Command C, and if I Command V as in victory uh, for a paste, it's going to paste wherever this line is. So I'm going to go Command V. So that's kind of the same thing. So it pauses, and then I'm going to drop it off the screen. So I'm going to click, drag it straight down off the screen and we'll play it from the point. So I'm gonna, moves in, you can follow the keyframes, rotates, drops. Okay, so I'm gonna save this, and I wanna add a step to this. So, um, and when you guys do your first assignment, I want you guys to do multiple layers. So, just to show you something, a little difference between, I, I, between me adding sound, I'm going to go to my text tool again. I'm going to, where does that come off? And by about 415, I want to do a new layer. And I'm going to call it fade in. And I'm going to go a different color with that. Oh, I'm going to go with a blue this time. Uh, no particular reason. I'm going to say OK. I want it to fade in at the center of the screen. And with this, I can keep it the way it is, or I can come over here and just like, so it doesn't come in until I want it to come in. I'm going to actually do it at four. I'm going to fade it in. Okay. And I'm going to go to my align, and I'm actually going to center it both ways. And I think I want to make that text a little bit bigger. So I'm going to say 150 on that text. Okay. Um, it's not moving as quick as I would like it to do. You can see the little jitter, and it could be my laptop. And I'm doing a screen recording too, so I'm pushing my computer. So to do a fade in, okay, I'm going to open up my lay second text layer, go to transform. Hey, my opacity. So I want to start at zero opacity and over one second, I'm going to do a slow, pretty fade in. I'm going to say two seconds. And remember, with the keyframing turned on on this layer, anytime I change time, which is here, and I change an attribute, it puts a new keyframe in. So if I go 100, there it is. So you're going to see this slowly fade in, okay? And then let's say I wanted to fade it out at the end of this. I can copy these two keyframes, Command-C, and remember if I Command-V, it puts them in right there. So what if I just reverse these around, click off, move this over here, and then move this over, and then I got a little fade out. Okay, um, so I kind of got a finished thing. I got two layers. I think on the first assignment you got to do two or three layers. Okay, so I'm going to save this command S. So the other thing is before you're done, we need to put sound to it. I want us to have you guys to have sound on everything. So I downloaded some files earlier from freesound.org. And they're in my download. So to stay organized, I'm going to come up to where I saved stuff earlier. Um, I got to see where I put it. Um, okay. I'm going to pause and I'm going to go to the next video for right now. So actually, I'm not going to pause. Um, 
Oh, there I am right there. So here's where my DME91 After Effects. So I'm going to create another folder in here. I'm going to go, I'm going to call it Sound Effects. And I remember I downloaded these. So I'm going to go over here to my downloads. And I'm going to go find my latest. I did like five different things. So there is. There's they are. I'm going to drop them in that sound. And then I'm going to go back to After Effects. I'm going to import those sounds. So there's my, I'm going to say OK on that. And there's the different sound effects I put in. So I'm going to say Open. And I think I have a swoosh in here. Oh, I'm going to actually open this up a little bit more to see if I can find my swoosh. There's my swoosh. Okay, so I want to do a swoosh on this. Okay, so what I can do is I'm going to open up this layer because that's where the keyframes are. So I want the swoosh from here to here. Okay, and I'm going to go drop my swoosh down here. And again, this is an audio file. These are texts, and the texts are built into After Effects. This is coming from a file outside, so it's pointing to it. Um, so if I open up this, just like I did with the transform, and I go to waveform, I can see where my swishes are. And I don't know if I have some longer ones. So what I can do is I can cut these, just like I'm in an editor. And I think this, oh, yeah, that'll fit in on time there. So to split a clip, so if I want to split this clip right here, uh, I want to cut it about right there. Okay. So what I want to do is I can go up to Edit, Split Layer, in that way, I'm going to have two layers. So I'm going to delete this layer right here. So let's see what it sounds like. I'm going to have to fix something real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm not totally happy, but you, you got the idea. Okay. I can keyframe on this layer too. So hey, look, there's my little stopwatch. So I want it to fade out. You know, I'm going to go to, oh, right here. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to do a fade out on this so it doesn't just end right there. So right about here, I'm going to do a keyframe. And then I'm going to move to the end of the clip and build a fade in on that clip. And I'm going to click off it, and I'm dragging all the way to silence. So now I, I kind of built that. OK. So the next thing I would do, I got a creaky door. So there's where my creaky door starts, right? So I'm going to go find squeaking door. I'm going to drop that down next. So I can close this. I'm going to open up squeaky door, go to my waveform, and I got to find where I want it. I think I want to go, and I don't know if I have some longer ones in here. Let's see what I have, because there's my squeaky door right there. That might do it. So if I come in here again, come over to here, let's see what this one sounds like. Oh, I think I like that one better. So I think I'm going to split my clip. Remember, edit, split layer. And I want to get rid of the first one. I'm going to open up the second one and go to my waveform so I can see my timing. And then I'm going to split my clip again. Let's see what my shortcut is. A split layer is Shift 
Apple D or Shift Command D. Let's see if I can do that. Ooh, I want to undo. Sh Command Shift D. That did it. So I'm going to get rid of this layer right here. I'm going to go place this layer where it rotates. So I'm going to drop this over here. Oh, this might work good. And my fade out was too fast on that first one. So actually, I'm going to go back to the first layer and fix that. I don't, I don't like what I got out of that. I think I'm going to go with that and fix it. Okay. So then the last thing I need, I'm going to do a breaking glass on the last little piece. So it, it would fall to the floor about in here, I think. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go find my uh, window glass breaking. I'm going to go drop it down. I'm going to open up, find my waveform. There's my waveform. Ooh, let's see what this sounds like. Oh, yeah, we can have that be as obnoxious as we want. Because remember, it's going to hit the ground. I should look to see where this text moves in or fades in. Oh, I can live with that. Ooh, it fades in. Oh, I got a problem there. I might fade in. Oh, I think, I think what's happened is the computer's going too slow. So I'm going to fix this. I'm going to see what it sounds like right now. Okay, so I think here's the other problem I have. I'm not seeing. I'm going to go troubleshoot that real quick. With my fade in, is not working. So I'm going to actually cut this off a little bit and move it over. I want to see where that falls out. Actually, I'm going to keep it over here. I got to go troubleshoot real quick what's happening to my fade in. So I'm going to go to my keyframe. So that's 100, that's 0, 100, 100. Oh, here's what I did wrong. I s shortened the back end of my fade in. And actually, I, I can get this done in 10 seconds. I, I'm going to go back and adjust that. So if we're out by 10 seconds. So I'm going to go uh, adjust this and go composition, composition settings. And I'm going to take this back to 10 seconds. And I'm going to say OK. It's going to clean up, clean up my timeline. I want to do one more thing on this. I want to add one more audio. I got one other issue with it. With the fade in happening like that falls off the screen. I think I need to move this over more. And I want the I don't want the fade in to start until the glass is pretty much broken. And with that also, so this might make a little more sense, is and I'm gonna clean this up. And this is up to you if I mean it isn't gonna affect anything to clean that up. So with the fade in, I also found a little music track with a guitar on it. So I'm going to fade that. I'm going to bring that in to where, let's see where the fade in starts. Or I think I want to go. And that's going to be really short. I'm going to look at where my fade in fades out. I'm going to open up that track in my audio level and I'm going to find my waveform. So it starts about right there. 
So I'm going to close this, open up my waveform, and that's where I want this to fade out. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really fast, but you got the idea. Because I do want to have a clean little project that I put out. Uh, I wish that goes a little further. So I kind of cheated it there. So let's see what it says. Like. Okay, so you got the idea. So I'm going to save this. So we got to finish the little project. So this is somewhat what you might do for your first assignment because it's an animated text layer. So the last thing I want to do is I'm going to save this and I'm going to do a quick movie for your render out. So.